stay on Mike's diabetes world. Da -da -da. Yeah. Da -da -da, peeling mouth. Today I want to discuss the difference between hemoglobin A1C and TIR. TIR simply just says time and range. And for years, hemoglobin A1C is all that we had. Now, with the advent of CGMs, we're able to take a look of how long are you actually in range. Now, probably within 10 years of me being diagnosed, they came out with the hemoglobin, I don't know why I'm holding this, my hemoglobin A1C test. And it was suggested it's taken every 90 days. Okay. So, when we do this, it could say 6.1% is your blood, average blood sugars, and that equates with, and then there's a table that you have to look at to see roughly where your blood sugars are. You could have a perfect blood sugar, you have just slight variations, or you could have this, and they both would come out to, I don't know, we'll say 6.1%. And that would be it. It's kind of like, okay. And unfortunately, parents, and even I, sorry, when I was first diagnosed, it was sort of like, yes, this is your report card. Oh, you haven't been doing that well. And it's, it was kind of like, patients didn't really want to do it because the hemoglobin A1C, oh yeah, you're expecting I'm cheating. Oh, oh, and that's really unfair. The test was pretty good. However, now we have, with the advent of a CGM, and here's an example of it now. It shows you how much you are in range and how much you're out of range or below range. And you know, we want usually to be higher than 70%. And the picture that it I just showed you, or sorry, I'll show you now. Actually showed 50% of the time I'm in and 50% of the time I'm out. That was in a 24 hour period. So overall it doesn't do a great job, but your readings can be modified. Your results should be nothing that you feel you need to hide. Pure and simple. Because I can tell you right now, if you say to your doctor, oh yes, everything's perfect. Yes, I, <coughs> I do this perfect. But, they know you're lying. So, take a look at it and be truthful to yourself. What could I have done better to bring me down and to rage more often? Hemoglobin A1C is still a valid test. But there are st stipulations. 
the T I R or time and range will give you an overall picture where hemoglobin A would see is sort of the snapshot in that very moment. So don't be afraid of things. If you've done a terrible job, live up to it. And how can we go from here? You deserve to get all the best. And you don't want to be having to deal with complications later. It does no one any good. It's also a pain. And I mentioned it just the last video, but the kiss symbol. Keeping things or keeping it simple, silly. Your doctor will probably come out with a plan, but they're going to keep it in mind that you have to live with this. And if you're still working or if you're going to school, you can't sort of always say, oh well, you know what? I think I'm going to call it sick the whole time. Your hemoglobin A1C is your own. So is your time and range. Keeping your time and range, you're going to feel better. You're going to add years on to your life. You know, so often, People seem to think, oh, yeah, they're not going to scare me by saying you're going to lose a leg. Well, that's what these tests are not supposed to invoke. And hemoglobin A1C has, over the years, tried to backpedal this report card. And there were a number of parents who used to yell at their kids, what have you been doing wrong? Blah, 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 blah. When, in fact, it could be labile, or what I call brittle, diabetes. That's what's happened to me. I had brittle diabetes for years. At the word times, yes, I just sort of gave up. Like, what was the whole point? And I'd go into the doctor and I'd say, Oh, yes, I'm doing everything great. And he would sit there. And he'd go, Oh, really? Okay. So, if your doctor orders one of the, the hemoglobin A1C or t wants to see your glucometer, or not your glucometer, your pump, uh, your CGM, to see if you're in range, don't kind of fret. If you're out of range, you're out of range. Let's work on getting it back into range. You will feel better. And, you know, there's been stories years ago where kids would use their diabetes to, oh, how do we say this? Get out of doing stuff. Oh, I have a test. Oh, you know, Oh, I'm feeling low. I don't think I could take the test. These will I be able to say, okay, you know what? You are going low quite a bit. 
Maybe we need to take a look at how we deliver your insulin or the amounts of insulin. It's not that, oh yes, you've done anything wrong. It's more of how can we treat it to get a better result for you and you will feel better. This one's probably gonna be a short one, but just remember, more doctors now, if you have a CGM, are probably gonna be getting to look at TIR, time and range, over hemoglobin A1C. But please, remember, I am not a doctor. Don't take anything I say and just go out and do it. Talk to your family doctor, talk to your endocrinologist. With that, have a super day. Bye now.